Jim died? But we were just starting to get to know him. The Muppets paid tribute to their beloved Jim Henson in a television special. But one question remained. Would Jim's Kermit be there? And if for all people, why not more? It took a while for us to decide what we were going to do with Kermit as the family. It's just, just the family involved in that decision of how Kermit would continue and, and how we would do it. Brian became president of his father's company. And the family decided that Kermit would live on. Steve Whitmire, a puppeteer who'd worked with Jim for many years, was chosen to take over the role. It was really funny when I made eye contact with him that first time. Uh, it was like he was saying, well, come on, talk, you know, say something. And uh, I just was freaked out. I couldn't do it. So I took the puppet and put it in another room, and I don't think I picked it up for about a month. The reason Steve had a hard time was it's just not doing another character. It's he had to get in the soul of Jim to be Kermit. And when all those people believe in you. In the end, Kermit did appear with his friends once again. Kermit is so much my father's character. Kermit was before the Muppet Show. Kermit was, you know, before Sesame Street. Kermit was the first character that my father really allowed to be himself. It was terrific. You guys were great. I think Steve does a wonderful job of Kermit, but it's not quite the same. And maybe even maybe. Kermit, to me, will always be my father's Kermit. And believe in you.